Hey, what's going on everybody? It is your multimedia designer, Vinar Fields, and I am going to share with you my work process and flow when working with Adobe Muse. Adobe Muse is a software that is, of course, by Adobe, that is given to us designers who lack the skill of doing hard coding or lack the time to be able to sit down and write a lot of code out for a website. Um, there's been pluses and there's been negatives, pros and cons when it comes to this program. I myself find it to be more positives um, than negatives, but I will say this, that it does not beat out hard coding when it comes to actually having full, complete control over your project. Um, there are some limitations when it comes to Muse, so I'm not going to sit here and act like Muse is the end all to all of your web design woes. Um, in my personal opinion, I believe that it does beat out um, WordPress in ways, um, I think in more positive ways than there are negative ways. Um, there's some videos out there on YouTube that explain that. Um, and that was about a year ago, so things could have changed. Things could have flipped to where WordPress stepped their game up <clears throat> and they have more perks uh, and benefits than Adobe Muse. But as for right now, I have not had the time to sit down and teach myself HTML coding the way I need to know it. But I was like, you know, I need something quick and Adobe Muse was the answer to that prayer. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into um, my project that I'm currently working on. So I'm going to do a screen share here and uh, you're going to see everything on my screen. So um, again, forgive me if uh, things pop up on my screen, um, messages, text messages, all that stuff is, you know, streaming on to my uh, computer um, and also to my phone. I may even get a phone call. If I get a phone call, you know, hey, I'm going to be talking to them on the phone and you will hear that conversation. Uh, I have nothing to hide. So anyway, let's go ahead and let's jump right in. Let me tell you, that first off, uh, the... the <clears throat> The, let's see, I hope you guys can see that. The company that I'm working on right now is Into Deep Scuba. And I've had this client um, with Concretize for about a year and a half. And we've gotten to a place where we want to go ahead and give them a, a complete redesign. Um, I'll show you their website now that they have. Let me go ahead and minimize this. Um, let's see, and let's just pull up a new window. Okay, ITD Scuba. And this is something that um, my company, Concretize Studios, had designed for Into Deep. And it had pros and cons. And um, yeah, it's starting to have more cons than anything. Uh, the site is too heavy because as you can see, this is one of those sites that is um, parallax heavy. The parallax is when you use your scroll bar, as you can see right here, and you have this animation. Now, I don't know how to do this, of course, like I said, in HTML, but with Adobe Muse, this stuff is like really easy to, um, to create and to accomplish. So here you have all of this uh, revealing happening where you have things disappearing, then you have the bottom footer shows up and then the top footer show up. Then you see in the background you have bubbles, um, scuba, diver, like it, it, it really looks cool, but it's too heavy for the regular, um, the regular computers that are out there. I'm running a uh, Mac Pro, and so that's making it run real smooth. Um, but I think on regular computers, it's just the pits, you know, it's just way too heavy. And nowadays people are using um, their mobile devices. I think this actually happened this year. They were saying that um, the use of mobile devising, devices for uh, web browsing has surpassed um, using a computer, which I'm not surprised at all. I mean, smartphones have become a very inexpensive and the plans to be able to have uh, uh, data to be able to use web sur surfing is uh, just the prices just really can't be beat. They're making it to where everybody can have a cell phone at this point. 
if you don't have a smartphone, it's because you chose not to have one. So anyway, as you can see here, um, all of this motion as I'm scrolling is happening due to parallax. So it, it, it's a cool sight. It's fun, but personally, I'm like, it's a it's a headache. Um, all of this stuff, um, it, like one of the perks um, that um, Adobe Muse has is that the um, person who uh, your client they can go on the back end of the site and they can make edits, like live edits on the site. Um, they type in like their own personal code up at the top and then it allows them to be able to go in and make the changes. And then like at the bottom, it'll say publish and then they can publish it without any problems. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much what the client has right now. And you, of course you can set it to where you can click the buttons and it'll go to the pages, um, which is awesome. It looks good that way. Uh, the shop, as you can see, that needs some work. Like that, that needs some tweaking um, to be able to to sit right. And that's one of the problems that you know the reoccurring issues. I'm like, you know, things shifting around because the client wants to go in and make changes. And so I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna move from the parallax, the one page website, and I'm gonna move completely to um, these individual pages. Kind of like going back to the way things were before um, and how they, you know, things are now. But um, the problem with like these one page websites is that you have big screens such as the one that I'm on right now and you see everything. Like this right here, this screen right here is set for just like your regular laptop computer. That's the actual size right here. Outside of that, all this blue here is just because I'm on a big monitor and um, I had to create these blocks to cover up everything that was hiding off to the side. Like if you weren't, um, if I didn't have those blue blocks there, you would see everything like the mask. You would see the mask over here hovering in the air. And then you would also see down here at the bottom, if I was on uh, the shot page, you would see like the star chilling like over here and you see the shell chilling over here waiting to come in um and it's just too messy in my opinion so i'm giving the the client a complete redesign and um uh, i think today i'll just be able to accomplish um the home page uh let's see here i'll show you guys what i currently have here in just a moment as soon as i pull up his website. Okay. So I have the website here. I opened up Muse, as you can see. I click on it, and this is what you get. You have this basic site map that is really awesome. Uh, it shows you the pages, like you name the pages, as you name the pages, you have the option to have it show in the menu or to be hidden from the menu. But uh, as you create the pages and you line them up, your menu automatically up updates, which is awesome. Um, you also create master pages um, in the background, like if you have a template, a particular template that certain pages are going to have that may be different from other templates or other pages in your website, you can create all that down here. Now you're creating masters for every single page, but it's just this one master fits all of these pages. So um, here I have a splash page that didn't change too much. Uh, but here you have the home page. And I kept it again simple. You know, I played off of his colors that he had in his logo here, which is of course the red, white, and blue. So American, uh, and people love that. And um, what else here? If I go back to my sitemap window, at the top you see it says desktop, tablet, and phone. Okay, and uh, 
you see a plus sign next to the tablet, and that's because it's saying, you know, click it if you want to uh, add a design for your tablet size uh, website, in which I don't want to. I just just have just the desktop, which is by default, and then I also click on the phone. And when you click on the phone, you have, again, um, your pages laid out. It's pretty easy. You just change the format so that it fits the phone. And so we're working, in, again, we're working on a home. The, um, the home here doesn't work on the cell phone because the background, as far as the background, it doesn't work. It, uh, the wording at the top is, um, is built for um, desktop, I guess you could say, just simple as that. It's built for desktop. And when I was on my phone, it was cutting off the words up there at the top when I decided to put the background in. Like for example, if I go to my background and I hit browse, and then I go to um, add image, in which I, I gotta put a slideshow in the background. So that's going to change automatically. But here uh, you see, uh, let's go images and I think home. Was it home? Yeah. Like I said, this is raw and uncut. So any mistakes, you guys just got to forgive me on that. Well, as you can see, I'm also going to have images down here for, um, or I have my folder for my mobile. And then just outside of that mobile is my um, regular web, in which I probably need to go ahead and um, put it in another folder that says desktop so I can really, really stay organized, uh, which is weird right now because I'm like, I can't seem to find um, that file. But what I can do is I can go over to, over to my assets, I click on that, and I'm able to go and see exactly where that is. It'll show me everything that is being used over here. Like this is being used for um, the pages, like classes, splash, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, we're trying to find the pages for home. So I'm going to click on home or click on this page here and then scroll down and I'm not seeing that image, which is strange to me, because normally it'll just be like right there listed. Uh, so forgive me, but I'm going to go ahead and look and find out where this thing is hiding at. Uh, I think I can also click on it. There we go. And it's, uh, it's shop, I think it's shop ITD. Yeah. There we go. And let me see, reveal and finder. Okay, so homepage pictures, random background images, C4, into deep. So scuba for random backgrounds. I don't know why I, I, I would call it random backgrounds. I don't know. I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay. So, anyways, going back over here to home, go to my background. Um, my yeah, my background, and I browse, and I'm looking for uh, images, and it said random background, which I don't see that, but that's okay because I can just go straight over here. This is the beauty of it, and I can just drag that right in here and it will automatically take me right to where I need to be. See how beautiful that is? So let's say I go ahead and I put that in there. You see, it automatically it crops off too much. So like that is not going to work for me at all. So what I have to do is I want to delete this, trash, trash it, and I have to get my dimensions for the page 
and let's see. Yeah, I get my dimensions for the page, page properties. Because I'm thinking to myself, okay, when things begin to expand, because like if I before I go there, like here, once I put in travel, training, and equipment, I'm automatically thinking to myself, okay, well, how's this going to work? How's this going to work up here? You know, well, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to create um, a separate look. Or a separate PNG file for where it says shop into deep school, but we have what you're looking for. I'm gonna have to create a PNG for that, but I'm gonna ha also have just this also be a, um, a JPEG image <clears throat> um, and have it just do that. Or, or depending on, let me see here, because I'm, again, I'm thinking, I'm trying to plan all of this stuff out. Um, with it being a background that may not work, but then again, it may work. I'm going to try something out. I'm going to try something out. Let's see what happens here. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to go to my Photoshop so I can prep those images. And this is all just, you know, trial and error. Just trying to make things work. Okay, so I'm looking, looking. I don't see it, so I have to go to open. No, I do see it. There it is. There it is. Here we go. We're going to go shop. Shop ITDS. Gonna take a little time, a little moment, pull it up. Maybe because it's looking for it. Reading Photoshop. Format and voila. There we have it. And let's see. I'm trying to find out where that folder is. Random images. Hmm. Classes, travel. Okay. All right. I'm also going to open up the other ones too here. Let's see. And, um, it just. See if I can find that folder. Hmm. Oh, I didn't show up. Let's see. Let's try that again. That's the key thing. It's like staying organized is so vital. So, okay, I see now. I'm in another concretized folder instead of like in my current client's folder. I mean, well, yeah. Current clients, yeah, I gotta go here, then website, then website number four. Yeah, eventually what I'm gonna do once I get this all put together, I'm gonna have to go in and clean this up like big time, big time, big time clean it up. So we're gonna open this up, uh, gonna go all the way back here, Carpentai Studios, then we're gonna go find into deep scuba, which is CS clients, into deep website number four images. Let's see, random background. Like, this is where I have all of those images. Okay, so I had that one, and I also have this one. Okay, cool. All right, so I have um, these images here, and what I want to have happen is that I want the background to um, 
rotate, like fade in and out. And I want these images also to do the same thing, but I want the images to be still at the top. Uh, and for it to, to, to be in sync, which may be an issue because it's not a guarantee that they will all load simultaneously. So we'll see. We're, go we're gonna play around with this for the next 20 minutes perhaps and, and see what we come up with. All right, so uh, looking here at these backgrounds, we're gonna call this one um, goggles. Goggles.jpg, goggles background.jpg. Okay. And I'm and I'm labeling these layers like this because I have my generate assets on. If you don't know anything about that, just go to YouTube and um, and Google that, and you'll be like, oh, okay, I see exactly why that's like super dope. In which let me see, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to give it a JPEG here. I'm going to stick this in a folder. Or group, yeah, group it in a folder. And then I'm going to call that folder that name. And it's going to find that for me. Okay. Uh, it's going to create a JPEG image. Now I'm also going to go here and I'm going to put my text in a folder. And I'm going to say, uh, call this. Uh, um, to shop into deep, or I'll just call it goggles text at PNG because we want this to be transparent. Okay, so we have those two um, files now created inside of this image assets folder, which you'll see that in just a moment here. All right, and I'm gonna do the same thing here. Um, I'm going to call this um, beach dot JPEG, and I'm going to call this um, each x.png. Oh, but first, wait a second. I want to copy this, and I'm going to, let me see. Let's see. Oh, just and there. Dot dot dot. Okay. Got to group these together. I almost forgot that step. That's very, very important. All right. And now we go ahead and call that that. All right. Save it. Let me go back and save this one too. Save that. Okay. And uh, this last piece, while those two are selected, we'll go ahead and group, group it. And I'm going to call this um, train text.png. I'll call this one train background. Okay. Let me go back to this other one. Let me save this real quick. Let me just go back here and I gotta put a background after that. So I know. And it's like I'm kind of like developing um, organizational uh, system. Not as I'm going, but it's kind of like, you know. Let's see here. Let's see, cancel that. Work on GPS brochure. Yeah, I have a brochure I got to work on here shortly, uh, but I'm gonna just keep on working here. All right, so I think I have everything set just right. So we have the beach, we have the title, text, title, background. Title, text, title, background. Title, text, title, background. So we know exactly what needs to be what. All right. So let's go back to Adobe Muse. Let's go to the home page with it being in phone. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull. Let's see, because I want the images to rotate in the background. And to make that work, I'm going to have to find something in a widgets library that will do that. Like slideshow wise. Hmm. Of 
according to the slideshow. The slideshow, it's a full screen slideshow, it's pretty dope. And I'll have to pull the images in. Let's see, let's try it. Because if I pull that in, full screen slideshow. Okay, then I change my images. Okay, and here are the pieces I was talking about. As you can see, because of the assets, you have the JPEG image. We also have the PNG image. And this was the final, that did not work. So again, you have your breakdowns of each of these important pieces. So we're gonna put this in the PNG, the background. Then we're gonna go back in, we're gonna to go to the ocean is calling, the beach background. And then we're gonna to go to train, train with the best background. Okay. And then let's see here, let's go, let's see, let's see. Show, well, I don't need to show the thumbnails, it's already put in there. So now I just gotta take off the previous um, and next, and I have to also turn off the counter because this is, that's all I want. I just want that to show. So to let you know, uh, to show you guys what I've done so far, uh, let's preview it. Create a preview. And it's sliding, it's going back and forth, and it's not full, full screen. Uh, because again, my settings for this page is um, this white space is because that's where the bottom of the footer is at. So I'm gonna have to go here, back to home. And you see that this bar right here, that's what I was talking about. So now I have to go in here and take the page properties. Let me see, I don't know if it's in page properties or not. That will allow me to be able to do that. Hmm. Hmm. I may need to go ahead and create another master page and have the footer down here just for the sake of the home page. So let's go back to the site map and let's duplicate this and I'll call this special. Footer. Double click on the special footer, and then I can take this and I can drag this all the way down to about right here. I think that's safe enough. All right, and then I will go back and I would take this special footer and I would take that master template and put it right on top. Boom, just like that. Go over here to preview. Refresh. Let's see if that fixes the problem. Um, it did not fix the problem. Hold on. Let's go back to back to here. Let's hit preview. If it doesn't fix the problem, then we're gonna have to see about another another uh solution and it didn't fix a problem let's go ahead let's, let's test this out let's take a look and see what this issue is but first let's go and take 
And let me see, it says fill content proportionally or fill frame proportionally. Probably fill, let's try fill content proportionally. And let's preview. All right, good. And more goodness. All right, good. Now we just got to figure out what's going on here at the bottom of this uh, footer. So let's take the special footer. Let's slam it all the way down here. Let's see what happens. Preview. Okay, the footer is gone. Okay, let's let's take special footer. Let's put it. Let's put it up some. All right, and let's go back to preview. Refresh it. Okay, and it's not changing it. Okay, so I think what it is, what it's doing, is taking the height and it's only stretching up so far. So, the, I mean, the width, I don't know. Let me see. Testing trials of being a graphic designer. I must warn you, when you watch other designers, because you may be thinking to yourself, like, this dude has no idea what he's doing, he's horrible. It's horrible at what he does. Okay. This is, okay, that's cool. It's not that I'm horrible at what I do. It's just that the guys that's online, they go through and they practice at least twice. They kind of prep themselves and then they just run smooth through the whole thing. And it's like, oh my gosh, it's so miraculous. Yeah, they're good, they're great. Okay, so trying to figure this thing out, trying to figure this puppy out. Uh, let's see, let's fill, let me see, content proportionally. If I do content, that's what happens. If I do frame, no, oh, that's the thumbnail. The, the new hero, that doesn't make any sense to me. Fill a frame proportion, proportionately. And, and, and you know what? It could just be within this preview window. Let's see, let's, let's do, let's export this out. to Chrome because I'm more concerned about what's happening with this footer at the bottom. All right, so I got to go on my phone actually to take a look at this. I'm not afford to work. Um, I'm going to push this. Well, hold on. I can't push it. I gotta publish this first. Publish. Yeah, I gotta get rid of that white bar at the bottom, which is just really just the background. But it's doing what I want it to do, which is I want the background to rotate. And we're waiting and waiting some more. So, oh man, the next thing I'll be working on after this, if you guys care to, you know, to join is uh, working on a brochure and website. Let's see, push it. 
as you heard right there, that was instantly pushed to my phone. And let's see, skip that home splash page. Yep, that's what it is. It's not, it's just not doing it on my, um, showing a good preview. Well, yeah, it's not showing a good preview on um, inside of Muse. So that's a relief. That lets me know that that's okay. All right, so now what I have to figure out is if it's at all possible to put something on top of this that will rotate images. Because right now, let me see, if I click on this, it's at 0.5, trans transition speed is 0.5, autoplay 3.5, and then we have three. So autoplay 3.5, five and three, okay. Let's go ahead and put a, a basic slideshow or a blank slideshow. Put a blank slideshow in which we don't need any of this. The only thing we need is where it says frame with the best. and fit content mm. fit content proportionally okay shrink this down to cool all right hmm so it's not using the background as a being transparent so that's an issue that is well no 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 the feel that already go the feel is set to gray just make that clear all right there we go So it says train with the best. The next thing that comes up, let me see, after train with the best. I guess it'll be the ocean is calling. And I'll just pull that in. Like, like so. And then also, mm, add the text from the goggles. And I will also take and pull that in. And wait, go ahead and push that in. I guess I will take and put that up at the top too. Cool. 
Let's see, let's show the, thumb, the thumbnails. Centered. Cool. I move that over here. It says hide thumbnails. And let's see, three point uh, five. And let's take a preview. Let's take a look. Let's see what we come up with. Voila, beautiful, beautiful. It worked exactly the way I figured it out. So it says, don't stand there, the ocean is calling. I just need to switch where it says, we have what you're looking for. So I gotta go back here. Let me see, close this out. Come back here and switch. Show thumbnails. And what was that? If it was, all right. Wait a second. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it just like that. All right, and then hide my thumbnails. I don't even know if anybody's like sending anything with messages messages to me asking questions or whatever. Close. Let's go to preview. We have what you're looking for. The ocean's calling. And voila. Okay, so I'm gonna publish this and I'm gonna look at it on my phone to see if. This is what I want, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I got about 10 more minutes. And then I'm gonna stop the broadcast on this joint and just move to uh, the brochure. Okay, so that came up right. Now I'm going to refresh this and yeah, what you're looking for. Understanding the ocean is calling. Try with the best. All right, and turn it sideways. Don't just stand there, the ocean is calling. And 
Nice. Nice. Okay, so I'm, I'm able to swipe this. So I'm going to take that off. The ability to swipe. No, 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 no. Don't want that to have happen. So let me click on this. And it says enable swipe. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Turn that off. And let's see about this background too. Enable swipe. Nope, 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 nope. And turn that off too. So let's see. Let's publish now. Again, it's all about testing, 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 and more testing. Okay, good. Now let's go ahead and look at my phone here. I know what you're looking for. Oh, this is beautiful. This works out just fine. Yep. Yep. And then the background changes. Cool beans. All right, now let's go ahead and add these buttons in. So as you can see here, let me get rid of these. I have three buttons, travel, training, equipment. I'm going to copy those, and I'm going to come over here. And while I'm on the right layer, I like to stay organized. Buttons, I'm going to paste my buttons right here. And I'm going to, let's see, shrink these down maybe. Um, also, I guess I'm a good font size, small, uh -oh. okay, about maybe about that size. Let me go ahead and size this correctly here. I like the fact that these guides on here, um, they give you like exact, precise help. So then I'm gonna go into my text. And I'm going to, let's see, is it too high? No. I know it has to do with the spacing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let's try this. That'll work. Or that's what it is. Spacing at the top. Cool. That works out. Perfect. Perfectly. And I'm going to put this kind of like right there in the middle. Right there in the middle of things is cool. Save it. Publish it. And hit OK. OK. 
go back to my phone and refresh it. And there it is, just like that. Okay, and let's see here. I'm trying to figure out why my footer now is moving with everything here. Oh, okay. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just go back here, take this and attach it to this, because maybe that just wasn't the right thing to do. Because I was trying to troubleshoot. And this is what a lot of it is. It's just trial and error. Like, again, when designers design, it is like a lot of troubleshooting. A lot of troubleshooting. So don't even feel bad if you are a designer and um, you're trying to make things work and it's just not working out the way you want it to. And you're like, man, this is crazy, yo. Can't get it to work right. Dude. Don't feel bad. This is trial and error. I think I'm doing some testing right now on a page because my footer's still not operating the way I want it to. Let me see it go to about my about page and see if that works. Mm. No, it's not working. Something is broken here. And I gotta figure it out. Okay. Fun stuff, right? Fun, fun, fun. So I got I'm gonna kill that one. Let's go to footer. Uh, what layer level is this on? Header footer, header footer. Yep, that's footer. And I can't pin it because it's the footer. Or can I? Huh. Let me see something. What if I, uh, I'm, a, I'm in a master, so I can't pin it. Hmm. Darn. Uh, I'm wondering, just curious as to what would happen if I pinned my footer outside of the master page. If I pin on outside of that, then I'll have to paste that thing on every single page, which really wouldn't be a big problem, except for the fact I would have to make changes. Like if I made changes to one footer, I'll have to make changes to all of the footers every single page and that could become a nuisance so let's figure out what's wrong let's figure out why this isn't making any sense let's go to our home page Let's go back to our, our site map. I wonder if it has anything to do with this one. Mm. Page properties, let's go. Let's see, copy that. Let's make it 500. All right, publish. Because it could just be this one page that's really making this thing all whacked out. 
And if it is, then that's a problem. Because it's not supposed to be operating that way. And again, this is all going back to to support my statement before, which is it's better to actually know how to do HTML by hand so you can have complete control of your um, your progress. So let's see. No, still doing it. Wow, okay. Let's let's go. Undo that. Undo that. And we got a troubleshoot now. Which is not a lot of fun. You got to figure out why this isn't working. Um, not sure. Four. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah. Looking back at this, what if I take this and push it back down here? Bottom of the browser, bottom of the page, save. Let me, let me preview this. Let me preview not classes because it's not that. Preview this. Okay, it looks like that would be okay. Publish. Okay. Review. That's weird. Let me see, merge, merge. See, don't merge. Don't merge. Don't merge. Don't, 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 don't to all. That's weird. Okay. Now let's go ahead, take a look into this from Do that. Right. Well, I see that's because I have my footer. I have the accordion, but it's not um, pulling the page back up. Which is weird. Okay, so let me go back here. Look at this. Get closed, uh, overlap. 
let me see. Let me turn up the turn up overlap off. Okay. Save. Let's publish it again. All this troubleshooting. Sometimes it's just good to step back and not, you know, rack your brain all over it and just say, okay, I'll come back to you tomorrow. In which I might just do that. Okay, let's see here. There we go. It was seeing over that bottom. I don't know why I did that before. I know I didn't change anything, but it's working now. At least it's working. Let me go to my home page. There we go. Great. I fixed it. Whew. Troubleshooting, man. It's where it's at. best this is the best this looks good this looks good all right so let me see let me go ahead and send my client a message to let him know hey we made some progress and uh i'm going to save all this and close that out let me see, save, yes, save it. All right, and I'm gonna come back to you guys. Turn off my uh, screen sharing here. Stop. All right, so um, as you can see, within an hour, um, I was able to do exactly what I said I was going to do, which was work on the home page and get that transferred over from the desktop version over to the mobile version. And it takes a lot of trial and error, but with that trial and error comes knowledge. And I'm like, okay, I know the next time I'm not gonna make the same mistakes again, I'm only gonna get better. And um, my theories that I tried out, the things I tested uh, that worked, they worked. So um, if I was to ever go back and to redo this video, Again, it will be more professional, definitely. It would have uh, a cleaner feel. I know exactly what I'm doing <laughs> step by step. And uh, it will just be, you know, well polished. So I thank you guys for joining me, watching as I went ahead and worked in Adobe Muse, troubleshoot, get interrupted, all that good stuff. And just uh, tell a friend, you know, very important. Let people know that, hey, you can find out uh, find out a, or watch a real designer troubleshoot his way through a client's uh, work um, project. Because it's, it's very different from watching a tutorial where everything is like precise and you know exactly, like this guy knows exactly what he's doing because he's he rehearsed it. Um, hopefully this takes a little edge off for you so you kind of feel like, you know what? It's okay to struggle. It's okay not to know, it's okay to, Say, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to walk away from this. Only to come back and to conquer. That's the key thing is that you don't give up and that you keep pushing yourself, always growing and learn, educate yourself, do tutorials. I'm not ever going to say don't ever do no tutorials. Always do tutorials. But just realize that um, practice makes perfect. And so until next time, guys, thank you guys very much. And if you want to stay tuned, I will be going ahead and doing another video. Talk to you guys later. Peace in and confusion out.